Hello humans, welcome to a quick tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make one of those cloth simulation memes that have been popping up recently. The only software that we're going to use for this tutorial is Blender, so make sure that you have that installed on your computer. You can see it on the Steam page or you can download it through the link in the description. So let's start. Step 1, delete everything. Step 2, put the thing that will be covered by the cloth. If it is a file that you already have, come to File, Import, and whatever is the format that you have your file saved in. You can add things such as shapes, characters, or even a plane. In my case, I wanted this to be sort of like a cardboard cutout, so I'm making a plane with the texture of my character, and also another plane with the shape of my character, just to create that collision effect. Step 3, in object mode, come to Add Mesh Plane. This is the cloth that is going to cover our character, right? Increase to the size that you want, put it above your character, and go to step 4! Still in object mode, select the object that is going to have that collision, come to the modifiers tab, and add collision modifier. If your object is, you know, an actual 3D object, that's alright, you just have to do that. But if it's a plane, just like I'm doing here, you're also going to add the solidify modifier, and increase the thickness a little bit. Now again in object mode, select the plane that we have here, come to the modifier tab, add the cloth modifier, the collision modifier, and if you want this plane to be a little bit thicker, if you want it to be sort of like a blanket, for example, you can come here and add also the solidify modifier. And then you can mess with the values until you're happy with the thickness of that. Since most of these memes keep a flat appearance, I'm not going to add that, but just so you know that it's possible to do. Step 5. Save the file! There's a high possibility that your computer is going to crash on this next step, so make sure that you have a backup. Besides having a backup, it's also important to subscribe. Do it. Step 6. Click the play button and see how the animation turned out. If you don't like how the collision turned out here, you can click on the object, go to the collision tab, click on this little thing that I have no idea what it's supposed to look like, mess around with these values because this is what defines how the physics is going to behave. And remember, this is applicable both for the object itself as for the cloth. Well, after you're happy with the first simulation, go back to frame 1, select the cloth, go to edit mode, Select everything, right mouse click, subdivide, and then you have the first subdivision, and you can do play again, now with more subdivisions. Now you can keep repeating this process again and again until you're happy with the amount of polygons that you have, or until your computer explodes because you made too many subdivisions. If you think your simulation is looking a little bit too squarish on the edges of the faces, you can always select the object and go to Shade Smooth. You can also add the smooth modifier or do both. Keep in mind that the more faces you have and the more modifiers you have, heavier and heavier these will become and there's more chances of your computer saying bye-bye to the program. Now if you want to be fancy and want to know how many faces is there on this little plane, you come here to this little symbol and press statistics. This shows how many faces there is on the object that you last selected. 